Oh God! Oh! Oh! <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, 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 uh. I'm good. Have a good day, Mr. Snake. Recently, I have really wanted to expand my horizons in VR by getting out there more and trying new experiences. Somewhere along the road of me just grinding life and content, as a lot of us do, I forgot what really brought me close to the world of virtual reality in the first place, and what brought me here in the first place were scenes just like this. waves over to me, then you got me. You got me forever. I'm somehow let down just a little bit, but that was still awesome. You see, this year is the official two year mark. I've been in the world of virtual reality. And for me initially, it was never about just one or two games, but the entire experience as a whole. Coming from a background of hardcore Halo, Battlefield, and GTA gameplay with a huge mix of MMO in there, I was always imagining being inside of those games. And no, not just seeing the world up to my eyes, but engaging with it in an entirely three-dimensional way that breaks the barriers of traditional flat screen expectations. And as simple as I might have thought something like floating in a kayak along a canyon would be in comparison to say something like an FPS where I'm literally dealing with individual magazines, grenades, weapons, and all of that with my bare hands, something I only dreamt of before, this game actually broke some barriers for me. And all while I was only holding a drumstick to simulate a paddle while sitting on a piano stool, wearing a headset. Like, my simple human brain just could not compute. This is so good looking that it's like bending my brain cells. Like, like on a quantum level. Like, I don't even understand what I'm seeing right now, if I'm being honest. I know I was late to this, but just wow. It's almost hard to describe how this simply effective formula of creating a game where you legit just ride around in a kayak has overcome me with sensations of joy, immersion, and at the same time, slight confusion. Because just how did they get this to work so freaking good? I mean, I know I said simply effective formula, but that's just the formula. Actually putting these things into motion with the amount of detail involved in the environment is just nothing short of pure amazing. I can't speak to how difficult this may or may not have been to complete. I'm quite literally the definition of not the guy you ask any game creation related questions whatsoever at any time because he has no f clue what in the heck he's talking about. But I can't imagine it was as simple as copy and paste or something. The water alone is so detailed and that's not even getting into how the kayak interacts with the water itself or how the turtles look because, well, I love turtles. Oh, oh my gosh, there's a turtle. <laughs> yeah, dude. Come here, man. Come here. Come here, dude. Hey. Hey, 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 hey. hey, hey. Come here. Come here, little buddy. Come here, little buddy. Hey, this is, okay. All right, game, game changed forever. Usually somewhere right about here, I might have a quick sponsor or something because, you know, money, but we really don't have that today. So yeah, just a simple thank you for being you and being here to watch this little bit of something I cooked up is all I'll say. So thank you. Anyway, now I don't know how many of you kayak or have in your lifetime. It's something I definitely recommend trying at some point or another if you haven't. 
I personally love it and honestly wish I could do it more often. But if you have, then when you load this up, you are going to flip out with just how accurate the movement really is. I don't know who created the maps either, but whoever you are, thank you. I want to meet you, and maybe, just maybe, if I'm anywhere near lucky enough this video could get just enough views for the person who did create these maps to see it, and if that happens, that alone would just make my day. Because the realistic aspects to these maps, especially the Australian map, are purely ridiculous. Shortly after realizing just how immersive this would be, I had no choice but to feel inclined to get a brewski for the Outback, which for me just felt right at home. Ooh, what are you? Hey, you can bring me to the other side of the canyon. Oh, man. Uh, can you bring me to the other side of the canyon? You know what, man? I've had a few beers. I'm not sure that I can, but 500 sea miles, you say? Uh, oh, let's see if we can make it happen, buddy. Come on. One might ask where the multiplayer on this game is, but it's not there. And personally, for once in my life, because I didn't think I'd ever say this, I think I prefer it that way. It's such a peaceful, unique experience that to do this with friends just almost wouldn't seem right or at least wouldn't feel the same. Almost as if you took your friend to therapy with you. And if you do that, no judgment here, I'm just kind of putting it out there that this is basically as close to therapeutics for VR as you can get, or at least as I've gotten. I know there are maybe some other experiences like certain maps in VR chat or Neos that are probably extremely calming, especially for PC VR players. I could easily see so many people, maybe people who are handicapped and unfortunately can't experience a real kayak, finally get to sit down inside of one and just let this title take them to an entire other world, bringing some serious smiles and joy to some people who could really use it. And maybe it's the same person as the map creator, I'm not sure, but the audio? Whoever integrated the audio, hats off to you. As a complete audiophile who uses live stage in-ear monitors for that extra bit of immersion and realism in my VR gameplay daily, this audio was possibly some of the most soothing, lovely stuff I've gotten to enjoy so far. After all of my time in a headset, and it's quite a bit of time I've had, it's experiences like this that leave me flashing back to my first times in a headset when I tried PlayStation VR when it first released. Moments on works of pure virtual art like this can and will leave anyone speechless. Just try it. Invite a friend over who's never experienced VR before, put them inside of this game right here, and watch their jaw hit the floor. I remember introducing my own mother to VR last year, as she's been a card dealer in casinos for almost 20 years now. Of course, I put her right into PokerStars VR for her first try. And by the time she left my house, she had already bought her first headset. I plan on getting a lot more people than I already have into a headset, and I've been so so lucky to have all of your help doing it. As far as this game goes, I'm probably going to be in here more often than I might ever admit. I'll look forward to hearing about your experiences down in the comments because I can't be the only one here who feels this way and I know I'm not. This really brings life to VR in a way I almost wasn't ready for but now that I've experienced it, I'm just ready to get back in. And I've been saying it for a long, long time now but this channel was 100% just for fun, and even though it still is and always will be, never did I expect to reach even a fraction of what's been achieved so far. So being able to share the joy of these types of things in VR here on YouTube with you guys has just been an amazing journey. So thanks again, and you can just, I don't know, enjoy this little ride out into the fading scene I'll put here with like some soft music or something. Or maybe the music is already soft, I'm not really sure yet. I'm just now at the script writing portion of the video, but I think I might try that French bread sounding thing that's like... And if I didn't use that in the beginning, then I'll go ahead and use it now. So, yeah. Okay. Enjoy the boat ride. Goodbye. <laughs>